Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And coming up for you is live action from Major League Soccer. It's Minnesota United and they take on FC Dallas. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here. But there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And this confrontation is underway. Ferreira. And the pass, a good one. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Oh, great defending. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. A bit sloppy in possession. Good technique displayed. And he really read that brilliantly. And threading it forward. Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision. Well, it's fine margins, isn't it? But in the end, he just went too early. Paxton Pomical. Useful looking ball. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. It's a short one. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Farfan. The clearance wasn't decisive. 
Danger averted for now. Fragapani. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Marco Farfan. Jesus Ferreira. And a creative look about this. And options in the centre. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Space afforded him. And that is how to block. Velasco. Oh, they have it again. Mendev Garcia. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Jimenez. Ferreira. And the emphasis is on creativity. Is it going to be? Oh, he's put it just a fraction wide of the post. Lot Franco Fragapane. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Word from the bench is that he's actually twisted his knee. That's why he's been trying it out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. Delivering it, still not clear. Blocking it. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And the counter looks on here, options available. Well, a committed challenge. What's the referee going to do about it? Well, a yellow card is the decision. Difficult one for the referee, Stuart. Yeah, but like the referee, I would give him the benefit of the doubt. But it's a big call, mind you. What a shocking pass, really. Velasco Jesus Jimenez Facundo Quinon this looks threatening there will be one minute added on at the end and so it is the first half story has been written this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point Stuart well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. It's 
still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. A chance to whip it in. There to take it away. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And reading it absolutely superbly. Quignon, happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Breaking at pace. In position here to protect the ball. All hands on deck. He could pick out a teammate. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. place to intercept we can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side Jeff Shreves Jeff the concern seems to be in the foot area because in that last challenge he got trodden on so it could be quite sore cheers Jeff and a creative look about this and he takes it on oh it's in a two goal cushion now and the lead fully merited Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Garcia on the ball Robin Lott and fine goalkeeping Jesus Ferreira well as you can see the visitors have had most of the ball and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly their pressing has been excellent and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Retaining possession proving difficult. A real opening now. And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Inside the final quarter of an hour now. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3 0 now. Luisa Maria. Tremendous block. Now, just the tackle that was needed. Facundo Quignon. 
Jesus Ferreira. No space for them here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Boxall. Amaria. Fragapane. Here's Trap. A decisive clearance it was. And he did well to cut it out. Velasco. Jesus Ferreira. Teammates available. And it's gone behind for the corner. For FC Dallas. Coming off the pitch. Number 10, Jesus Ferreira. Entering the match. Number 12. Sebastian Legend. It's a short one. Well, they've won possession. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.